अल्लाम इंग्लिश स्टूडेंट हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू लर्न डेली फिजिक्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन एवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी टॉक अबाउट द पोलराइजिलिटी एंड नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू वर्ड इलेक्ट्रिक डिसप्लेसमेंट फैक्टर और द इलेक्ट्रिक डिसप्लेसमेंट डी सो लेट्स एवर लुक वट इलेक्ट्रिक डिसप्लेसमेंट इज सो इलेक्ट्रिक डिसप्लेसमेंट वेक्टर इज डिनोटेड बाय इज अ वेक्टर क्वान्टिटी एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय डी फॉर अ चार्ज क्यू द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई इज गिवेन बाय दैट वी नो दैट द चार्ज क्यू ई इज इक्वल्स टू के क्यू ओवर आर स्केयर वे के इज कुलम्स कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी यू कैन से इज इक्वल्स टू वन नंबर फोर बाय एप्सिन ऑन नॉट क्यू ओवर आर स्क्वेयर दिस इज द परमेटिविटी ऑफ फ्री space so when we look on coulomb's law the coulomb's electric field e is equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon not q over r square this was it it means that when we extract this epsilon not from this term here you can say e will be equals to 1 over 4 pi r square into this q i write this q here into 1 over epsilon not okay you can understand now this epsilon not here is the permittivity of free space permittivity of free space of free space what does this mean this means that when a positive charge let's say when when the positive charge when the electric field from a positive charge is generated it is reduced it is in a free space and when they are generated they are reduced by the epsilon not factor because epsilon not factor is in the denominator it will reduce the whole effect of the uh, of the electric field by this term so when in when we talk about a uh, medium we use em in the case of dielectric we we use uh, em is equals to e not into epsilon epsilon not in epsilon m is equals to epsilon not into epsilon r this is the permittivity of free space this is the relative permittivity and this is the permittivity for a medium so linear medium we say so in that case it will be reduced in the q over 4 pi r square 1 over epsilon m we will write this like this uh, for a medium but we are talking about the free space so in the free space this electric field will be reduced because of uh, times this factor times okay this will reduce this time factors time so as we look here this term here this term is equal to d we say that the value of the actual electric field without any reduction because this because of this vacuum this free space this epsilon not reduced the actual value of electric field which was equals to q over 4 pi r square and this q over 4 pi r square is our surface charge density this is 4 pi r square is the surface area and charge per unit surface area is equals to the surface charge density we will next describe this as a surface charge density this d as a surface charge density so this term here the actual value of electric field without any reduction is called d d displacement vector and i'm not i'm writing the magnitudes this will be equal to d and 1 over epsilon not equal to e so d will be equal to e into epsilon not so 
Now in vector form you can say that d is equals to e into epsilon naught. So now you've discussed, uh, now you understand what d is, what actually d is. d was equals to epsilon naught into e. And this was because of positive charge I dis described you that this was the radius r of uh, that charge. So let's have a look. In the case of dielectric, what is the value of d? So when we talk about, when we place a dielectric, we know that the net, net electric field E is uh, reduced. This was the applied electric field and this is the net electric field. And you know that the net electric field is reduced by this factor. I already told you that when you apply an electric field I, in the previous lecture, I told you that, let's have a look. This is a figure from the previous lecture. I told you that when I, I will make this here. Or, so this is positive field and this one here is negative field. So because of this positive field, I am placing a dipole moment here. Uh, dipole, I am placing a dielectric here. It will generate, it will make a dipole like this negative here and positive here. The electric field will be in this direction and the applied electric field will be in this direction. So this is E naught. This is E naught and this term here is equals to E prime. So when the net electric field we have will be equal E equals to epsilon naught minus E prime. So as we know that E will be equals to sigma over epsilon naught from this formula uh, we've discussed before that here it is E is equals to sigma over epsilon naught E was equals to Q over 4 pi r square this is equals to sigma surface charge density and uh, this could be equal to E could be equal to sigma over epsilon naught so we, that this is for the bound charge and this is for electric field for the free charge you can say so this is a bound charge of a dielectric sigma prime e prime electric dielectric the dipole the electric field from the dipole and the sigma is the char charge density for a bound charge okay so we took the common epsilon naught we will take the common epsilon naught from here so when we take the common this when we take the common of this epsilon naught the term we have e is equal to 1 over epsilon naught sigma minus sigma prime now the tricky thing comes that for this epsilon naught we multiply here and then for sigma this is a free charge and this one of bound charge for the free charge as I told you, this term here is equals to D and this D term is also equal to the surface integral surface. This you can say that this D is equal to surface charge density also sigma. This is sigma. So this D magnitude of T could be equals to sigma. Okay. It is equal to sigma. But in, in, in our polarization vector, when we talk the polarization vector, we said that the polarization vector is the dipole divided by the V, small p divided by the V, dipole moment p divided by V, and p small p is equals to Q into D, and uh, we break volume into a, area into the area into displacement D, and uh, this display d is cancelled out with d and this polarization vector p was equals to q prime over this q prime is the bound charge and q prime divided by area and this q prime divided by area is also equals to the surface charge density but this surface this surface charge density is bound surface charge density and the bound surface charge density is of dielectric is of dipole because uh, in the dipole you don't have a free 
charge the uh, the um, charges are bound in in the dipole the charges are bound and this bound surface charge density is equals to the polarization vector so in the case of free charge or in the case of electric field external electric field this sigma will be equals to d just for this case for this e as i did showed you this sigma is equals to d and for the, this one here for the electric field or for the electric field from this e prime this is the charge here is bound and from this electric field e prime the surface charge density will be equal to polarization vector so for sigma we will write d and for sigma prime we will write p this is a tricky thing and you have to understand this so d will be equals to from this d will be equals to epsilon e plus p this term goes there and epsilon e plus p in vector form d is equals to epsilon e plus p so i write this here that d is related to the free charge p is related to the bound charge and e is related with the both free and bound charge because e is of epsilon naught is of free charge and epsilon prime is is of bound charge so this is it i hope you understand what polarization vector is what electric displacement is what polarization vector is so our today's lecture is over now so wait for the next lecture and subscribe to my channel and if you have any problem you can commit me in the comment section so assalamu alaikum and see you next lecture and thank you very much for your time